about shit. Well, I don't know, man. I heard that, man. On the lettering. Oh, 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 oh okay, bro. This is brought to you by Yoli the Banana. Got it. This is a man of God construction. Oh, look at you. You're like a construction god. Hallelujah. You just saw some video which I took in Allentown, Pennsylvania of my very own dear old dad, Peter Sesco Sr. in his prime, in his happy place, doing construction for a pastor friend of his named Jimmy Rivera. He was walking on his patio and deck. In his heyday, my dad was a renegade rebel. He didn't give two rats behinds about anything or anyone, except for me. Nowadays, after doing some long, hard thinking, including a brief stint in the joint, he is a born-again Christian, a man of God who cares deeply about his faith and the world around him and everything and everyone in it. Yet, in both stages of his life, my dad was, and remains, one of New Jersey's big daddies, if you will, of construction. One of the finest in all of the Garden State to get his hands dirty and getting the job done and to never be afraid of doing so. Hence why he has his own successful construction business, Men of God Construction, which I promoted many times on YouTube as the doting son that I am. I even created a website which is still kind of in progress for Men of God Construction. In reminiscing about my dad, I recognize that there are many types of fathers out there, all doting to their children, I'm sure, but many of them very quirky in their own right when it comes to their personalities and perceptions on life. So, the five items I've gathered before you for the special Father's Day show should appeal to two types of fathers. The top tier here has two items that are best suited for dads who just want to date to themselves so that they can, in their own quirky way, paint the town red. The middle tier here has items that are best tailored to dads who will just go with the flow and partake in whatever celebration the family's planning for them. And just to tie it all together, I have a book here in the bottom level that will dispense universally unconventional and unconventionally universal wisdom for fathers of all kinds. Fathers young and young at heart, those starting out, and those who have been through the waiter one too many times to count. Yeah, buy the gift card or necktie will work in a snap, but here at TSR we're always thinking of big ways to sell big love to Big Daddy without spending big money, yet have big fun all along the way. So if you're with me, welcome to Papa Pete's Place, the only place on YouTube where you can celebrate Father's Day in the best way, by bringing Hollywood home on a budget, right here and now on this special edition of the Thrift Store Rundown. first group of fathers include those who are just looking for a day off, and who are well deserving of one. They work just as hard as the moms, if not more, and sometimes they just need a break too. Some time to themselves to unplug, recharge, and take the edge off. So, for that first category of fathers, I think you'll be more than delighted with this first pair of items. On the left here we have the Hooters Cookbook. Of all the restaurants to have their very own cookbook. Hooters? Well, we've just about seen everything in that particular area of cookbooks, haven't we? Trust me, me ready your appetite for one heck of a Father's Day weekend with this cookbook will more than make sense once you get into it because there's so much to discuss about in this one-of-a-kind piece. On the right, we have the Black Widow Motorcycle, one of several American Chopper Orange County Chopper custom toy bikes manufactured and designed for the brand Joyride and licensed by the Discovery Channel. Entertain your brain. This was purchased for $7.99, this was purchased for $2.99, and both were purchased for 25% off their sticker prices. 
Let's get right into it for the cookbook, which I think you'll really give a hoot about, and then some with the Hooters cookbook. In Clearwater, Florida, in the 80s, six businessmen, and Hooters using the term businessmen loosely, came up with a revolutionary concept. To build an establishment, which nobody would be judged at for getting a knickerbocker's worth of fun, no matter how outside of the box people had to think in the process. All the recipes in here have been compiled by corporate chef Scott Kinsey and actually come from not just the chefs and hooters, but also their families and friends. With photography by Rick Schaefer. This is actually an illustration of the original hooters in Clearwater, Florida. The original American wing joint. But in here you'll find not just wings, you'll also find oyster rolls, shrimp, clams, and yes, plenty of moo beef meat to go around. Have you had your Hooters today? Well, this is the only way I'll get to have my Hooters. Why? Because the Hooters closest to me in rain shut down. Why? Yes, it's a victim of the coronavirus. We're bouncing back from COVID, as you well know, but the damage done has been irrevocable and it can never be with us for several businesses, including the Hooters in Rain, New Jersey. And that is really disheartening to say the least. Rest assured, this portion of the video would have been reviewed at that Hooters, the one closest to me, had that not been the case. The other two Hooters in New Jersey, too far for me to travel to by public transportation or by car. So this is the only taste of Hooters I'll ever get in my lifetime, really. We have here a dedication, a salute to the worldwide wing commander, Robert H. Brooks, former CEO of Hooters, and appropriately and beautifully, it's given by his son, President and CEO, Kobe G. Brooks. If your dad is a fan of college basketball, I think he'll smile with the forward by Hooter spokesperson and famed college basketball analyst for ESPN, Dick Vitale, and his proclamation of this cookbook be Dipsy Doo Dunkaroo. It's time to play. Basketball, eh? Great food, cold beer. Totally awesome atmosphere. Hooters and basketball, it's a natural. Firecracker shrimp, ice cold beer. Great new seafood, get it all here. Aw, Dick. We thought you had game. What do you have to say for yourself? Hooters is awesome, baby, and I'm a prime time player. I love it so much, I think I'll stay here. Nice save. This cookbook is actually way more than just a slam dunk. We have here a myriad of recipes that can be suited to any man's taste. Yet, because Hooters established itself as the original American wing site, what else can we start off this review with? Wings! Wing eating is a barn experience, according to the aficionados of the art. It brings out the best and worst in people. Eating with your hands makes you feel like a kid again, if only because there's always sauce on your fingers, and there's no fun in using a napkin. So let us get saucy and show you these delicious wing recipes. Now, I'm on the record as saying, nobody can outdo my mother's wings. Or, my stepfather's wings, for that matter. But I think Hooters can win a very close second with these beer battered wings. Yes, chicken wings, fried up, fried up in beer. Buffalo wings, the original buffalo wings. Waikiki wings, very Hawaiian-esque. And, we interrupt this wing uh, programming to bring you some football trivia. That reminds me, there's a lot of sports trivia in here to go around. Football. Golf, the works! And since Father's Day is centered around golf, I think you can appreciate the golf trivia in here a little bit more than the football trivia. But then again, football is the quintessential man sport. Who doesn't even have their own hula bowl? I guess in college, the uh, football. Yes, their very own hula bowl. And that reminds me of those cheerleaders. All those Hooters girls. Know the sign. Yes, these are the signs the referee makes on the field for many plays, many calls, touchdowns, penalties, field goals, the works. And these are the altered signs that you'll want to be aware of when reading and using the Hooters cookbook.
amazing chicken wings. Wings of fire! And a live chicken wings. I'm showing you the golf section if you are a golf aficionado because, well, again, golf is one of the quintessential Father's Day pastimes. And if not for that reason, then because of, yes, you guessed it, those Hooters girls. There's only one thing you think of when you think of Hooters. God bless those six Clearwater quote-unquote businessmen who had the bright idea of having all women as waitresses. An idea which got them in trouble in the early 90s with the Equal Opportunity Employment Commission. They filed lawsuits against Hooters of America for discriminatory practices of hiring only women to serve as Hooters girls. Which reminds me, among the plethora of Hooters history you'll learn about in the beginning, Hooters through the ages, you'll also learn a bit more about the Hooters Independence Day, November 15th, 1995, the day when the EEOC, the Equal, Op Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, I am no government fan, I'm certain of that. <laughs> anyway, when the EEOC dropped their claims against Hooters, Restoring Hooters' ability to hire only women as waitresses. Yeah, it is rather discriminatory, but would you rather have Hooters guys here? Vince, the first and only Hooters guy, who protested on Capitol Hill in Washington amongst many of his female comrades, his professional girlfriends, if you will. And really, there's not a lot of Hooters girl pictures to go around in here, but just enough to keep your appetite wet so that you're able to keep on reading this cookbook at your own pleasure. Serious pleasure at that. Aside from all the sports trivia and the lowdown on their own casino, yes, they had their own casino in Las Vegas, their own airline, their own magazine, their own racing promotion, etc, etc. You also get some great gambling tips as well as fishing and camping advice. Fishing and camping, by the way, will be a major, integral part in the next food-related item I review, the All Recipes Magazine, a little bit later. As far as the fishy fishing laws go, have a look here in New Jersey. Fishy fishing laws meaning that these don't exist. God forbid. It is against the law for a man to knit during the fishing season. Excuse me, do you see any man out there knitting during the fishing season? Hey. We don't see Bob Ross, or any uh, descendants of Bob Ross, painting during hunting season, right? I don't think so. You'd be a moron to do so. Unless you're painting something outdoors. And you want some inspiration for your outdoor mosaic, or your still life, or whatever. Now for recipes to impress. How do you impress the woman? Well, every which way but loose. You go to the ends of the earth for her. How do you impress a man? How do you impress a dad? Well, so a green beer, that's about it. With recipes to impress, you'll be bringing a whole lot more than just beer. You'll be bringing your A game. Coconut shrimp, Creole barbecued oysters, very Creole inspired, inspired by NOLA, New Orleans, Louisiana. NOLA! Proper Crot Chicken, that is a very perplexing name. Apricot chicken. Chicken and apricot. Cajun blackened halibut, another Creole inspired recipe. Spare ribs. And some gambling info, as I just said. Which really is just a summary of all the amenities you'll get if you've ever stayed inside the Cooters Casino Hotel in Las Vegas. Plus, some brief gambling terms right here on the white. I don't gamble. But my parents have been to the Resorts Casino and Hotel many times in Atlantic City and they've done some gambling. I hate gambling, I hate the lottery, I hate, you know, pushing your luck against a few dollars worth of your money and coming up short every time in the hopes of winning a million, ten million, twenty million, hundred million. No. Forget that. Anyway, the recipes to impress go on as follows. Cajun shrimp bake. We have spicy beef and pepper jack and chunky and cheese peas. Why? Because men eat quiches, especially manly sounding and looking quiches such as these. 
Dungeon is Crab Fight by Lynn Austin's Lucky 7 Layer Salad. If you don't know who Lynn Austin is, she was the first and original Hooters Girl. And she says this salad is perfect for everything from a Super Bowl party to a PTA meeting. And if a Hooters Girl contributes a recipe to the Hooters Cookbook, you know that it's a recipe that you're gonna want to buck buck. If you like what you see here on the outside, you're gonna love what you'll see on the inside. The recipe for Hooters chicken wings is so secret, even our cooks aren't allowed to know it. Do you know why our beer is so cold here at Hooters? Because we keep it in the refrigerator. Hey kids, you wanna do your dad a really big favor? Tell your mom you wanna go to Hooters. We have a crawfish boil, courtesy of Cajun's Choice. A duck pie, which reminds me an awful lot of a s'mores pie. And that will certainly hit to the camping recipes I'm going to highlight in the All Recipes magazine coming up next. Well, actually after the American Top of that but bike. But that will be next after this portion or so. Um, desserts, coffee apple dip, green bay packed peanut butter balls, whackin' cocktails, such as the iced tea and the Huda Bay lemonade. We have two salads, blue, white, and Caribbean chicken salad. Yes, men do eat salads. And if you complete any one of those recipes in that chapter, recipes to impress, you get this diploma. In recognition of the completion of man cooking, Hooters style. You being an official graduate of the Hooters Culinary Academy. As so proclaimed by Chef Hootie, the Dean of Man Food. I gotta forgive this cookbook for the lack of Hooters Skulls photographs in here. But aside from all that, wings, Sammy's, burgers, game day and tailgating affair, and much, much more. That's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the fun you're gonna have reading and using this cookbook. Although, if you've ever been to a Hooters before, and you actually do own this cookbook, it'll be up to you to compare how many items on the Hooters menu of today, or yesteryear, are actually included in this cookbook. And I predict there won't be a lot of those items, but just enough to give you general happy feels. Because it is the primary mission of Hooters to make you happy. And boy, when I saw this, it really did make me happy. Yes, I've read some YouTube comments, and I've read many stories online outside of YouTube about the food, well, being substandard. Despite the beer being cold and the Hooters waitresses, the Hooters girls being, well, let's just say, the opposite of cold times 20. It's published by Castle Books, an imprint of Arnica Publishing, and as far as I'm concerned, oh yeah, I see retail price. I was going to say there's no retail price, but... I was trying to look at the book, now the viewfinder. 1995 US. And really, considering all the material you're getting in here, a real feast for the eyes and feast for the mind, 1995 isn't a bad price. But, 25% off the price of $2.99? Well, that's just. Sorry to take this one from your dick. Awesome, baby! Now, let's rev our engines. And take a ride on the Black Widow. One of the coolest, sexiest motorcycle names ever. As you can see, it's still in a spot, but it's a real look on the inside, right? This bike is in 1 by 18 inch scale. It has die cast metal, over 50 parts assembled with superior details. Once again, officially licensed by Discovery Channel American Chopper and Orange County Choppers. And is run in a line of several bikes custom made for the American Chopper line of bikes. We have here the Comanche, which if we're judging motorcycles based on looks and names, this gets second place. This has a very gothy, masculine appeal to it, if you will, with it being all black. Mikey's bike, Lucy's bike, old school, a jet bike, and an attribute to the fireman, the fire bike. As far as I can stand, the Black Widow makes number one in sexiness. Look at this. But in terms of functionality and performance, well, it's time we think inside the box. 
Sorry to do this, Dad, but I don't leave things in their boxes sitting around collecting dust for their shelf lives. No, I like to play around with things. And it's going to be inside the box where we'll be able to deliver our best review of this. So now that I got the American Chopper Black Widow out of its box, now I can show you what it feels like. And I have to say, if you hold it from both hands, it's much easier to operate and to play with. And make sure you get a good balance, because uh, if it's not balanced properly on a flat surface, well, it's a little more difficult to operate and to play with. And again, you know me, no matter how valuable these uh, toys might be over time, I don't leave anything sitting in its spots collecting dust for the rest of its self-life. I like to get a good feel for things inside and out. And I have to say, this rolls uh, fairly well. The left wheel here is kind of difficult to turn, but not that much. And as you just saw, the handlebars broke off. I had to take a pair of scissors to one pair of twist ties that was so hard to get off from the bottom of this box right here. And by the way, there were two pairs of twist ties. Um, anchoring down both wheels. One I just untwisted and removed. That was the back end of the wheel. The front end of the wheel, um, I had to use a lot of manual force to remove. That means I had to apply a lot of pressure on a pair of scissors right here to remove. And I ended up dropping my bike as a result. And the handlebars broke off, so I had to, uh, well, put it back. So yeah, I am suggesting that you be kind of ginger with this because, yeah, as much as it's a manly bike, and as much as you can appreciate the seriously sexy chrome lingerie here, and yeah, I just said sexy chrome lingerie. This being a little bit difficult to play with and to get a good feel for, it's just not how I roll here. How else are you going to go hog wild if you don't get a good feel for the item that you want to buy? Come on. At the end of the show, I'll rate all of my items individually. But I gotta tell you right now, this is definitely not going to get a very high rating because of how difficult it was to get out of its box, to get untied, and how difficult it is to actually roll around and play with. So I'm giving this thing a test one. Well, maybe it was a good idea not to put it out of its box, but hey, I'm glad I did so that you can see how honest we are at TSR. And how otherwise awesome of a combination this actually is. Writing your own Black Widow American Chopper branded motorcycle custom made by Orange County Choppers to your local Hooters for Father's Day so long as it's Guys Night Out. By the way, outside of construction, my dad is huge on classic cars, classic automobiles, especially motorcycles. He is a huge fan of Orange County Choppers and a huge fan of the American Chopper series, which, if you don't know, follow the exploits and the builds of the Tuttles, Paul Tuttle Jr. and father Paul Tuttle Sr. Both pictured right over here, Jr. and Sr who later started a feud with each other, which led to later seasons being retitled American Chopper Junior vs. Senior, which I didn't really care for. But then again, this video is not about me. It's about me helping dads out there decide how they want to celebrate Father's Day. Can I have to wear this over for my daddy, please? Sure. Take Dad to Hooters for an unbeatable Father's Day special. 10 wings and a soft drink for only 50 cents. That's right, the cure for the ordinary Father's Day is 10 wings and a soft drink for just 50 cents. Celebrate Dad's Day in a fun, casual atmosphere with the nearly world famous food that Hooters is known for. Hooters, the cure for the common Father's Day. So based on this combination, am I suggesting you accompany Dad on a motorcycle ride to Hooters for Father's Day? 
Well, it might not sound ideal, but hey, it is still Dad's Day, so why not? Let the man live, and let the man lie to live, and live to wide, with the wind in his hand and a Hooters Go riding shotgun. So long as that Hooters Go is his wife or fiance or current girlfriend, because otherwise, if not, well, Dad, let's say Mama's life insurance policy on you would look mighty attractive to cash out by then. Our next group of fathers are true family men. Those that, even on this well-earned day of rest and relaxation, will still find time to hang with the folks and take part in, compared to the last two items, more family-friendly activities. All the way to give back for the love shown on this anticipated day. For that group of dads, these next two items are just for you. On the left, we have a dual month issue of All Recipes Magazine, based upon the world's largest online food community and website of the same name, All Recipes. This is the June-July issue from 2014, which I purchased for 99 cents, and definitely has a lot of all-American cuisine to show for it, including some great camping recipes. On the right, we have the Family Feud Electronic Game from Urban Toys for two or more players ages 8 and up, including over a thousand survey questions, and, just as an added incentive on the box, a picture of host John O'Hurley, with a card that says, Survey Says. $3.49.99, less expensive item first. Continuing off of the Hooters Cookbook Review, we move on to the All Recipes Magazine. Now, you know my thoughts on All Recipes Magazine. Unless it is you has Seth John of FoodBusiness.com, no All Recipes Magazine. And why? Because I am a huge fan of Food Business, the blog and the YouTube channel of the same name. We'll get to him in just a few seconds after I tease a young and hungry video on the fifth store one down. If you haven't already saw that, we kicked off 2021 on the channel with the young and hungry book. A guide to everyday life, if you will. Not just a cookbook, it's a lifestyle book. It really encompasses every facet of a millennial or generation Zia's lifestyle. In the most delicious way possible. Hey, you see Emily Osmond here in this uh, picture, believe in yourself, B. You know it's gonna be delicious. There will be a link in the description to check out my review of that book. Now let's get to Chef John. And what's on his mind? Sticking a fork in it. And by it, he means this refreshing, very picturesque, and delicious strawberry granata. Chef John? That's right. Granita is a very simple Italian frozen ice dessert. Actually, I guess frozen and ice are redundant. But you know what? I already said it. But regardless, if you can find some beautiful, sweet, fresh strawberries, you have a working freezer, and you're pretty handy with a fork, you can make this ultra simple and incredibly gorgeous warm weather treat. We'll get back to Chef John in a bit. First, let's do camping over easy. You don't have to sacrifice comfort for a night under the stars. Not when you're glamping, anyway. This mashup of glamorous and camping allows those who are really attached to their temper peaks and for little chai lattes to embrace their outdoorsy sides. Along the west coast, the well-heeled are flocking to glamp grounds, outfitted with pre-pitched tents, actual beds, flushable toilets, hot showers, and kitchens with top chef water equipment. We're gonna highlight some recipes in here that have a little bit of glamping, a little bit of camping, and yet a perfect balance between the two. It doesn't lean more towards one thing than it does to another. Perfect balance, right in the middle. Middle of the world with recipes that are definitely not so middle of the world when it comes to flavor and ease of preparation. Over the fire, scalloped potatoes being one of them, which received a four and a half star rating out of 46 reviews by Rebecca Gould. A tin foil stew, which was submitted by Pete IYC, and that received a four star rating out of 12 reviews. Campfire Banana Splits. La 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 la. <clears throat> Tony Bright's Campfire Banana Slip Splits received four and a half stars out of 125 reviews. 
poor man's be a batter fist from Cycles Kitchen, lovely name, received four and a half stars out of 35 reviews. We have some tips and info about cooking over a fire and the best glamping gear on the market to make your glamping experience more fun and more pleasant and more delicious. Finally, for the glamping, we have Logan Bread from LN Lee with four and a half stars out of 39 reviews. Plenty of positive feedback from many All Recipes members throughout. Moving on to Here's to Dad. This Father's Day, give the man of the hour what he really wants. A chance to indulge in bold, hearty, and beer-friendly guy food. Steaks, burgers, bots, and more. All grilled in the great outdoors. For those who are not up for glamping in the woods because, well, they won't disassociate themselves with anything that relates to anything glamorous. Which just isn't fair, come on, dads deserve to feel glamorous too. But if that's the case, you can go old fashioned and have a fun family picnic in your own backyard with beer butt chicken, blue cheese burgers, beer butts, Seth John's grilled pork tenderloin, that's right, we're taking the same amazing Caribbean spice blend that you know and love from chicken and applying it to the always user-friendly pork tenderloin. And is it as good? Well, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but it might be better. That recipe, by the way, received four and a half stars out of 17 reviews, which I assume were reviews exclusive for this recipe's premiere in All Recipes magazine. Celluloid steaks with garlic. Finally, for the set, in a special 4th of July dessert section, we have here Apple Hand Pies by, who else? Chef John. Out of 9 reviews, this recipe received a full-on 5-star rating. And glowing feedback from many food visitors. That's right, I'm going to show you my patented method for making perfect hand pies, also known as turnovers. And I know you're thinking, those look too perfect to be homemade. I bet those are store-bought. Well, thank you. That is the best compliment you can get for these things. It means you made them so real, they look fake. Now you know, I don't give out stars. I give out claps. But, just how many claps will this issue of all recipes be getting? Well, I will be rating it and all the rest of the items featured in this video at the end of the show, individually, and then give you a collective total as one mass of items suitable for any father, any father's day. In the meantime, we turn our attention to the Family Feud Electronic Game, where it was last sold. It was sold for $9.98. That's a discounted price from $19.99. $10 off? Well, that's not a bad deal. But $349? I don't think you need to survey a hundred people to know that Unique Dip Star has other shops, secondhand and retail, beat by a mile when it comes to price. Quality, however, is a whole different survey. So, let's take a look. Here we have the gameplay and instruction pamphlet. And you pretty much know how to play Family Feud, right? Whether it's a card-based game or an electronic handheld game, which I will be on the lookout for, or an electronic tabletop game like this. We have the game console in its box. We also have the instruction manual, a stabilizer foot, right over here, just in case it leans and wobbles too much, even if you do put this on a flat surface. We have here two scoring pads. And some very simple instructions for playing the electronic tabletop game. Two players or teams, Team A and Team B, A and B, compete to match their top answers to fun questions such as name a sport people play just to get exercise. There are a total of eight rounds. Rounds alternate between the standard, double, and triple and fast money rounds. In each round, there is one question. The answers to each question are based on the top answers supplied by a survey of 100 people. In the standard double and triple money rounds, teams may select up to 7 answers for each round. In order to score points, teams must be able to match their answers with the top 5 answers from the survey. In the fast money rounds, only the top answer from the survey is given. Teams must be the first to correctly supply the same answer in order to win the round. At the end of the 8 rounds, the team with the most points wins. 
So here we have here all the features of the game console. Your illuminated player A and player B indicators on either side. A large LCD screen with questions and answers. Right over here. Your illuminated strike indicator for if you get an answer one. Well, you're here as a little something like this. Mm. We have your Team A selecting button right here, and your Team B selecting button right here. Your selection buttons, if you be selecting an answer. <laughs> um, your correct answer button right here. Which, as you just heard, as you just heard, also doubles as your on switch, your on button. There's no button that you press to turn the game off yourself. It turns off after sitting idle for a few minutes, or after gameplay is completed. Now, I will say that even though this does not have John O'Hurley's voice, or Louie Anderson, or my favorite Richard Kahn for that matter, you know, Richard Kahn for Home Improvement, he was my favorite host of the syndicated family feud, uh, this has an announcer who sounds very similar to uh, Button Richardson. One of the announcers of Family Feud, I think under John O'Hurley's tenure, and of course the current host, as we all know, is Steve Harvey, who, I gotta say, is my idol when it comes to flub-ups and uh, gaps of all kinds. <laughs> By the way, you just saw the Family Feud Platinum Edition game. If you want to take that game outside, well, it wouldn't be ideal. There's so many components in this game that, you know, you would have to lug around and find if you lose and then sort and then put back in the box. The electronic tabletop game runs on batteries and is considerably more ideal to travel with you in case you want to take Family Feud on the go. Nevertheless, the Platinum Edition with Steve Harvey will be reviewed at a later date. The Family Feud Electronic Tabletop game is definitely suited for those competitive dads, and they know who they are. Dear Dad, you are going to lose at all of your favorite games this year. Love you. Those dads who always say that, you know, you think you know everything in this world, you don't know everything. Like my stepdad, for example. You think you know everything in this world. Trust me, you don't know everything in this world. I know everything in this world. Oh, yeah? We'll see what you know when we play the Family Feud. It's one feud that every family, that I know of at least, would definitely want to start. So once again, the back uh, displays all the components of the game console and the contents of the game itself. Licensed by Fremantle Media and paired with the All of Us and Peace magazine is definitely one of the safest and yet Funnest ways to celebrate Father's Day and to let Big Daddy know how much you supply them with big love. The last item is the Family Guy Guide to Life, published by Running Press and purchased off of Amazon for a total of $5.18 with some sketchy pricing to boot. Look here 87 cents for the item itself. $3.99 shipping and handling, and $0.32 cents in tax for $5.18 total. When you pay more for the shipping and handling than you do for the item itself, that's kind of sketchy. But for this book, it is so worth it, because there's so much you can learn from watching those highly dysfunctional griffins. And I'll show you four key lessons in here. You're welcome for this visual. Get your priorities straight. Peter. I'm a bad father, a lousy husband, and a snappy dresser. Bonus points if you can guess that line from that episode of the comments section. Which episode is that line from? I'll give you a hint, it's from season one. The essentials of good parenting. Peter, you're bribing your daughter with a car? Oh, come on, Lois. Isn't bribe just another word for love? That's another season one episode. Can you guess which one of the comments section? Utilizing your imagination. A boat's a boat. But a box could be anything. It could even be a boat. This is one of the early season episodes, not season one. So, which episode is that from? Oh, as far as the pictures go, some pictures are made for the book and some are episode stills taken from their respective areas. Finally, know that second best is pretty sweet. I had such a crush on her until I met you, Lois. 
You are my silver medal. Sometimes fathers can be treated as silver medals rather than gold medal parents, but not around here. It's imperative that you show your big daddy a lot of big love. And if your big daddy is a big Family Guy fan, and really a big Shepard Fallen fan in general, this is big love all the way. Since its debut in 1999, Family Guy has been an unfailing source of subversive hilarity, and the Griffiths have become part of our extended family. They have certainly have become a part of mine, and surprisingly, a part of my partner in crimes, Donna and Ellie. She actually utilized, and I'm not kidding here, Family Guy as a homework assignment for her students. She ordered her students to watch some episodes of Family Guy and then write essays based upon the life lessons that they could learn off of that episode. So, we should all really be grateful that Family Guy entered syndication when it did. There is no discernible author credited for this book, so let's just say it's the random musings of Seth MacFarlane from many a Family Guy episode. They're all brought brilliantly to life in hardcover form. And they cover every facet of life imaginable. Brian on hygiene. A martini a day keeps the fleas away. Peter on parenting. Sorry kids, daddy loves you more, but daddy also loves TV. And in all fairness, TV came first. Love, relationships, parenting, hygiene, adolescence, and really every facet of life that you can name. Seth MacFarlane is the creator of the cutting edge animated sitcom Family Guy, which has been running for 20 plus years and is still going strong. Retail prices? 13 bucks in the US, 15 bucks in Canada, and 7 dollars in the UK, and considering the size of this thing, those are not bad prices. This is a rather small book to begin with, but it is jam packed with life lessons in the most twisted presentation imaginable that anyone can learn. And just reinforces that theme song lyric, which is still resonant with every single Family Guy fan, myself included. That we should all really feel lucky to have a Family Guy out there that can do all the things he can do that make us laugh, cry, and learn a lot along the way. It's been quite a Father's Day here on TSR, hasn't it? My Mother's Day video, which I published last month, was heartfelt and genuine, and I wanted to be a little more sensitive. This time around, I decidedly want a little more edge to the Father's Day special, <clears throat> because, well, Dad is Dad, especially if your dad's like my dad. So I hope this collective gift guide will show your dad that he really is your dad. Why don't just be yeah, dad, if you know what I mean. That said, some items here have a lot more appeal than others. Looks can be deceiving. Performance matters. So with that, it's time to find out where each of these items stand, and if any of these items are on a junior's seal of approval. This junior, so that you can treat your senior to a Father's Day he'll never forget. The Hooters Cookbook, the June and July 2014 issue of All Recipes Magazine, and the Family Guy Guide to Life, on Junior Seal of Approval, full stop! Five claps apiece. Family Feuds Electronic gave him Urban Toys, no John or Harley, we have an announcer similar to Button Richardson, but that's because he's similar sounding to Button, does not necessarily mean he's Button. The instructions, well, they're quite a read to study, but once you do read them, you'll eventually get the hang of playing this game. So I give it four and a half out of five claps. And as for the American Chopper Black Widow Motorcycle, real sultry name, real sexy looking piece of art. Unfortunately, not that perfect a performance, it was hard to get out of the box, and the handlebars keep falling off. It gets four out of five claps. A very sympathetic grade. And that will bring us to a final total of 23 and a half out of 25 claps. So, you know, this video has been long-winded to begin with, so I got nothing more to say. Except if you do get that, any one, or any combination, or really, all of these items for Father's Day, this is what he'll be thinking. CJ? Maybe they do love me, and don't just use me for, you know, money and shelter. 
That's how good it is. That's how good all these items are. Well, almost all of them. And it goes without saying that this goes with a special shout out to my dad, Peter Sr., and every version of you that you are. Dad, don't ever change. And I'm still gonna kick your ass when we play Family Feud. Happy Father's Day to all, and to all, fight the good fight. Thank you for joining me. And of course, I'll catch you on the Switch side. Hey, Dad, you want to go with some of your lady friends? <laughs> Don't be under the bus, okay? Hey, hey, Pete, hold them accountable, Pete. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you can't be sucking off like that. Even you if go. you are a backslide, you got work to do. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, what do we tell you? Why don't you have your mask on? Safety first! And that applies to home, too, with other activities! Yeah!